Hey Fox fam, welcome to my channel. Uh, I am excited to be fully in 2019, fully in the swing of things, trying to get back on my video game as usual. I thought I would come back with a very, very highly requested video. I think I have been asked about this video like I get asked at least 10 times a day how I prevent my hair color from fading. So I'm really excited to say that I partnered with Amika for this video. And if you don't know who Amika is, Amika creates the most bomb range of products. They have anything you need, they make, and they made it well. Um, also, it's extremely colorful packaging. Let me just grab a couple things for you and show you. It is super, super colorful. I've actually gotten to see the evolution of their packaging. Their packaging used to be a little bit different, but still a super colorful label. Um, hey, like Their range is like great for everybody. It doesn't matter if you have colored hair or not. Um, when it comes to taking care of your hair, I think hair is one of the most important things about feeling good about yourself. Like when your hair doesn't look good, you feel like crap. And I think when, I mean, I do anyway, I think most people can agree. Um, and I think that when you're actually, no, when you're coloring your hair and you're bleaching and all of that nonsense, you need to stay on top of your hair care. You need to use good quality products that are gonna get the job done and help you throughout that process. Um, you need to nourish your hair during this process. So I am not a fan of just getting really cheap products from like the dollar store or whatever when it comes to hair care. I, I don't recommend that. I think that you need good ingredients and good products that are really gonna work. Um, and so if you haven't heard of Amika, I'm super excited to introduce you to Amika. Their, their range is just amazing. Like everything's super colorful, great quality. Um, and you know how some brands, like some brands are like, they have like a hero product and that's like, you know, one of the one things they're very good at, but Amika has really created some amazing products and they hit the key issues with hair. So. With that being said, I'm really excited to do this video with you guys today. This is how to prevent your hair color from fading. I've been asked this, like I said, I get asked this so many times and I'm excited to share all of my tips and tricks. Um, I've written them out so that I don't forget anything. Um, I'm gonna share this with you and hopefully this is just first and foremost super helpful for you because I know that it's expensive to get your hair colored. It's expensive to buy hair color. It's It takes a lot of time to redo your hair. Um, and so th these tips and tricks are gonna help you whether you have permanent hair color in, demi-permanent or semi-permanent. Um, you know, there's no foolproof way to completely 100% prevent fading, but there are some key products out there and key habits out there and tips and tricks that will help your hair color, um, the life of your hair color just be longer so that you don't have to visit the hairstylist as much and all that. So I'm excited to share that with you. Um, I'm gonna be linking all of the products that I use in this video in the description box below. And me, Amika has been kind enough to give you guys 10% off anything you order. So your entire order, you're gonna get 10% off. The code is Kristen10. Um, so enjoy that. If you see anything you wanna try or buy for a friend or whatever, you have the option and you get 10% off. So win-win. Um, Let's go ahead and get into this video. I had one other announcement, um, well, two other announcements. So I'm actually right now testing the uh, Morphe foundation and doing a 10 hour wear test right now. So if you're interested in seeing that, if it's up after this or before this video, I will link in the description box below. And if you don't see it on my channel, then it's about to be up next. So I just am not sure about when this is gonna go live. So also I have a brand new shirt on Kristen Leon, X Leon, uh website. It is this one right here. Um, it says puppies and it's kind of like in the friends logo because who doesn't love friends? Um, so yeah, so I'll link that in the description box below for you as well. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this and show you my favorite tips and tricks to keep your hair color fresh and colorful for as long as possible. Okay, so I have washed my hair and I'm gonna go through that process and those tips and tricks in a minute, but we're gonna start from the top. So first and foremost, to keep your hair color intact is waiting around 24 hours after you color it. So you say you color it then you rinse it out 
just use water, don't use shampoo, or you can even use a little bit of conditioner, but just rinse that bitch out, rinse it all the way out with just cold water and um, resist using hot water. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, but this get, just gives the hair color a chance to like really settle onto your hair and the cuticle and just like stick. Um, I always leave my self tanner on for longer than it says to. I usually sleep in it just because I feel like it really like sticks to the skin. You know, a lot of people ask, oh, can I can, uh, shampoo my hair after I use Arctic Fox hair color um, or whatever color you are using? And I always say, don't, don't do it. Resist the urge. Just really get in there and give your scalp a really nice, good, thorough massage and get all of the color out. And just don't use shampoo for at least 24 hours that will start your hair color off in the right direction and you won't get any fading right off the bat. Secondly, dry shampoo is going to be your very best friend. Um, depending on what kind of hair type you have, you can use uh, like a spray and conditioner like what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, but dry shampoo is gonna be your best friend. If your hair gets oily, use dry, use dry shampoo before it gets to the super, super oily point. I only wash my hair like once or twice a week, if that and I use dry shampoo in between. This really, really helps the longevity of your hair color because every time you wash your hair, every time you blow dry it, you are fading your color. So dry shampoo is gonna be like your best friend. I'm sure you've heard me say that before. Um, by the way, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave like some of uh, my favorite Amica products that fit into all these categories down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you're curious what I've been using lately. Um, I've talked about the Phantom Dry Shampoo from Amica in the past. It's a, a um, like a mousse kind of formula, which is really, really cool and gentle on the hair. But um, whatever kind of sh dry shampoo you like, whether it's like powder or whatever, this is gonna be your best friend if you have colored hair. Um, it's just really going to help longevity of your hair color in the long run. Next, this one is like, people are always like, oh, why would I do this? Because that would be like the most miserable shower in the world. But um, what you're gonna do is you're going to wash your hair with ice cold water. And the tip on how to do that is do it in your kitchen sink. You know, they've got the little removable nozzle. You can get in there and you don't have to put freezing cold water all over your body. So what I'll usually do is I'll do that first and then I'll pin my hair up and then go in the shower. Um, so, and that way I just find it easier to like really get in there and clean your hair too when it's flipped over in the sink. Especially if makeup on and you're taking a shower like I did today. Um, so use cold water, resist the urge to wash your head with hot water in the shower. It is going to open the cuticle, therefore the color is going to start rinsing out. I don't know the exact like, you know, sciencey science of it, but basically, yeah, you're opening um, the, you know, the hair cuticle and so the hair color is kind of coming off. So cold, cold from now on. Cold water. Say it with me. Cold water for shampooing. Cold water for shampooing. Perfect. A couple other tips when it comes to shampooing and um, and conditioning your hair. So depending on how your hair is, I'm assuming if your hair is colored, it's probably somewhat damaged. You're gonna wanna use a color safe shampoo and conditioner that is uh, moisturizing for your hair. Um, you do not want to use a clarifying shampoo. Stay the F away from clarifying shampoos unless you're trying to remove the color from your hair because that's what it's going to do. I have been using, these are actually almost gone. I'm gonna need some new ones. This is the Amica Vault Color Lock Conditioner and Shampoo. This helps preserve the color in your hair so that it doesn't fade out as quickly. There's no sulfates in it. There's none of that nasty stuff that's gonna tug at your hair color and pull it out. Because like when you're washing your hair in the shower, it's like, like a part of your heart falls out of your butt and goes down the drain too when you like see the color coming out, right? Like I just, I, ah! I hate that feeling. So using a really good color safe shampoo and conditioner, I absolutely love the Mika one. I've been using it now for months and months and months. I've actually been using this since their packaging was like completely different. Another thing, um, that you can do to preserve your color. Uh, it doesn't really work for me right now, but if I had one color in my hair, I would take the lid off of my conditioner and put a drop of color in there, or like say you're coloring your hair and you have a little bit left over, 
take whatever you have left over and put that into your conditioner because when you're con conditioning your hair with the color, it's going to help refresh it as you're conditioning and it'll also help uh, elongate the life of your color. So um, I just wanted to put that out there because I've been doing that for a really long time. Um, I try not to make it too dark because I don't like when it stains my hands in the shower, but just adding a little bit and adding a little bit of that color back to your hair when you sh shampoo and condition is like, really gonna help. Another thing is staying on top of hair masks. You're going to want to use a hair mask on your hair at least twice a week. Um, dry, brittle hair is definitely a culprit of hair color fading. Um, it's just if your hair is really porous and unhealthy, there's nowhere for the color molecules to stick to. They're too big to penetrate the hair shaft, which is why there's never, well, not I shouldn't say never, which is why there is no permanent hair color at the moment because the um, unnatural colors are unable to kind of penetrate the hair shaft, if that makes any sense. So uh, condition your hair. Like hair care is so important for your hair if you, if you give two shits about your hair. hair. Hair care is just super, super important, especially when you're bleaching and all that. You really need to use good quality products that are going to help your hair out along the journey of all the bleaching and the coloring and all that stuff. Usually when you use a hair mask too, like your, your hair just like drinks it up. Um, I'll leave a couple in the description box below too that you can check out and see, uh, you know, read about them, see if they're right for you. Another thing that is, uh, well, the last few things actually really play a huge part in fading color. And I was shocked to learn this, but as I, you know, this was years ago. And then when I did learn, I was like, I really, I, I put it to the test and I really did notice that, um, heat and sun really fade your hair color. Like, Sun, UV rays and all that, like not your friend. Um, every time you curl your hair and blow dry it without a protectant, you are damaging your hair. So it's very important to prep your hair for blow drying and curling it. So um, what I'm gonna use today right now, I've let this kind of air dry a little bit, which is one thing that I like to do before going straight into blow drying is because when you do, when you let it air dry a little bit, you're not having to add as much heat on it for long periods of time. So I'm gonna be using the Amica Blockade. This is a heat defense serum. It helps seal in the moisture um, because that's the problem. Like, what did we say earlier? Dry hair leads to color fading. So I pumped like a few drops into it and I'm just going to put this on. And I think you can put this on dry or, yeah, you can put it on one to three pumps on dry or um, damp hair. So you can use this, like if your hair is dry and you're about to style it, you can definitely put this on there too. And I like to add this. It just protects your hair from all the heat and all that stuff that you're gonna be doing to it and helps keep the moisture in. So it's not drying out your hair like crazy. And you wanna put this on mid, your like, you don't wanna put this on your roots because there's oils in it. So you wanna put that from about your mid length all the way to the ends. And I'm sure the ends could use a little bit extra because you're usually the driest. Now moving on to protecting your hair color from the UV rays of the sun. Um, you can use the Amica Vault Color Lock-In Leave-In Conditioner. You can use this on damp hair or dry hair. So if you're about to go out in the sun all day, just put a little spritz on there. It'll help protect your hair from UV rays. It also has a lot of antioxidants that prevents your hair color from fading in the sun. So I'm just going to spray this on. The one thing I really like about this is it's super lightweight, so it's not gonna weigh your hair down, which is good for people like me with thin hair. But I like to just spray this in and then really make sure you've gotten it throughout all of your hair. You can brush it in a little bit as well, which we will do in a second. Okay, now before my hair gets too, too dry, I'm gonna take my little tiny blow dryer. I have to show this to you guys. This is so freaking cute. I was like dying over this on Instagram stories. Look how cute this is. Like, are you kidding me? This is like the cutest little blow dryer I've ever seen in my freaking life. It also comes in this like little carrying case, which is so cute. Ryan and I are always arguing about who's gonna put the blow dryer in their bag because we're really anal about the blow dryers that we use. They like, they have to be nice, like the hotel ones ain't gonna cut it. So we always are like, okay, no, I don't have room in mind. What about you? So this solves the problem. Look, it's so little, it's so cute. I'm so obsessed with this. Like I'm gonna baby talk this, like I baby talk my animals. It's like the love is real, the love connection, it's here. Gonna blow dry this and we'll come back with my final tips and tricks on how to prevent your hair color from fading. Oh, where's my plug? Okay, got it. Ugh. Ugh. 
Oh, before I blow dry, I'm gonna use this uh, Amika detangling brush because I like to kind of get this brushed out once it's dried a little bit because hair is very fragile when it is wet. Okay, that little blow dryer works really well. Like that works like as powerful as my full size one. So I'm really excited to travel with that thing. Okay, so last thing and last tip on preventing hair fading. This is probably one of the things that will fade it out quickest. Um, this would be getting in the ocean and getting in the pool. These two things are your enemy if you have hair color, whether it's semi-permanent or demi-permanent. It just pulls the hair color out with all the chemicals that are in there and the salt water. So um, if you're wanting to switch to a different hair color, I highly suggest getting in the pool and I highly suggest getting in the ocean. It's gonna completely remove it. Um, when I got in the ocean in Hawaii, it was, uh, my hair was quite faded after that. There's really no product that you can use to prevent that. It's just, it doesn't matter what hair color you use, it doesn't matter what products you use, it's, it's gonna pull the color right out. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this video useful. I I wish that I had found a video like this when I first started coloring my hair. So hopefully you found it useful um, and you can put some of these tips and tricks to use to help prolong the life of your color between you know visits to the hair salon or buying new color, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Also as a reminder, um, all of the products that were talked about and even more than that are linked in the description box below and you'll get 10% off with my code Kristen10 should you choose to try any of these products for yourself. And if you've made it this far in my video, you might as well subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss a single video when I upload. Um, I think that's it, yeah. I'll chat with you guys in the comments. Bye guys!